This picture appeared in the June 24th edition of the local paper here in Derby and um, they actually published my letter as well basically saying that I didn't think this was ordinary air aircraft trails that were causing this um, you know we didn't have a Red Arrows show that night not that I recall I had to make some kind of formalized complaint about this with, with some information uh, to uh, back up what I was saying and that's what the report was so what I've been doing is also trying to give out information to people about this problem um, because there's a lot of resistance to it, a lot of resistance to looking at the evidence and the data uh, and I've just uh, recently at the request of somebody else that I know produced some leaflets here and really all these are is just a selection of the pictures which I've been sent and, the, and some of the ones I've taken as well mm -hmm. and through measurements and observation we may be able to learn a little bit more about them. So why are these grid patterns appearing? What are the flights that are causing these grid patterns to be made? These are the questions that I would like answered really because as I say everyone that I've asked just says these are ordinary aircraft trails. But they're not. They're not ordinary aircraft trails because they don't display the correct characteristics of ordinary aircraft trails. They're discontinuous, they last for a long time, they appear on some days and not others when the weather conditions are the same, uh, they can be seen from space. Um, so, you know, we've got to really ask for some answers here. You know, I mean, we're supposed to be concerned about carbon footprints and global warming and climate change and, you know, so, so what's... <laughs> What is the point in even discussing those things if you're not really going to take into account what, what these aircraft trails are telling us? All I can tell you is that the trails are real and just because I don't know what the cause is it doesn't mean to say that these trails are not real. You've got to make that distinction properly. Uh, it's a bit like if somebody vandalises your car. You may not know the reason why they've vandalised your car but it doesn't mean that they haven't vandalised it. It doesn't mean your car is still in perfect condition. Your car is still being vandalised. You know, this is, these are the sorts of things that I say to people. So I just want to know what the heck is going on with these trails. I just want to know what the heck is going on. Uh, and I wish somebody would give us an honest answer. But uh, so far one hasn't been forthcoming.